video, I'm going to go through what you might need as a beginner in metal detecting and then what you could work up to or if you just want to go out, straight out and buy the kit that you're going to want. It doesn't matter. I've got all the digging tools that I use, be it beach or land. Um, I'll show you what I started off with. Um, I think I've still got everything I started out with. Uh, I'll tell you what I use now. And I've got a couple of bits that I haven't used yet that I'm going to use. Now, if you're going to start out and you're on a budget, a really tight budget, which is how a lot of people start because they don't want to know, sorry, they don't know if they're going to enjoy it. Um, you may not want to buy all this kit. You may just want to buy the bare essentials. If you hate it, you haven't spent loads. Um, that is how I started. I started out with a beach machine and a beach spade. This is my designated beach spade. It's not actually a beach spade. It's got a fiberglass handle, so it's a bit lightweight. It's slightly shorter. This is my second one, because my first one broke, and this one is on its way out. There is a crack just there. I love this for the beach. If I'm going to use a spade on the beach, I'm a bit of a convert. I've gone over to scoops in the last six, seven years. I do occasionally take this to the beach. Relatively cheap from uh, your local builder centre DIY store. You can pick these up dirt cheap. I'll put prices on the screen as we go through, if I can find any. Because some stuff like that, it's not going to have a price. And my scoop, the one I always use, again, it's, it, I've adjusted stuff. So be a price for that. Nice and reasonably priced for the beach. For land, when I started out, and I still have, this is my trusty spade. Some people call it Thor's hammer because it is heavy. If you're going to use a garden spade on the, on land, they're built for the garden and just digging around in the garden, not carrying it around all day. I'll put the weight of this up on the screen compared with the weight of a, you know, a specialised digging tool. Um, so this is a, I actually broke it and then I thought, you know what, I'm going to keep it. And I welded a T-bar. This is from a dumbbell. So it's got a covering on it, which is better on your hands. And this thing has lasted me, well, ever since I've started. And I use it all the time. If you see my videos, this is my spade. All I did, I put a point on it. Um, it not everyone can do that, not everyone's got the tools, but it was a just standard garden spade. And it took me a couple of years before I put the point on it, I will admit. And um, I love it, it's mine. And um, I probably will never get rid of that. Very cheap again, you can pick them up at car boots, garden sales, you know. Um, but if you want to go and buy a new one, they're not expensive anyway. So that's my digging tool for the land, one for the beach, and then I never had really a designated digging hand tool. All I carried around was that. Just a little plastic, it's plastic as well. Um, garden spade. And I attached it with a lanyard on, on my waist so I didn't lose it on the I used to use it on the beach as well, in the rock poles. Um, I don't take this out with me anymore. Not really. I, I, I kind of moved on. Very cheap again. So that's where you can start. You can then progress or you can go straight to a scoop for the beach. Um, <clears throat> now my scoop when I got it, it didn't have a shaft. This is a steel shaft. If you want to see how I made it, I do have a video on how I made this and adapted it. Um, I'll put a link in the corner. This was second hand on eBay. Obviously, scoops aren't aren't terribly expensive, but they're not super cheap. If you're not if you're new to the hobby, you may not want to spend forty to a hundred pounds on a scoop. This one didn't have the handle because I had. Why oh, tell a lie? I did not start with this. I started with this. I lie. Yeah, I started with this. It's a plastic garret scoop. I think it came with my garret metal detector when I bought it. The owner had bought this separately. This was absolutely fine. I say I had it on a lanyard, just like the little the little hand spade. Hung it off my waist, and I was wandering around. And uh, these are all right. These are not bad. You don't lose anything through the holes. They're lightweight to carry, and they serve a purpose. But then I progressed to this one. Yes. I stand corrected. I progressed to this one. Um, I've had 
two handles on it since because it did rot out in here, got all the seawater in it. But I have a few of these um, handles left everywhere. Got them off a scrap man for nothing. But yeah, this is just, um, I think it's zinc plated or galvanized steel, one of the two. It lasts a bit longer than your regular steel, but you do have the option of a wooden handle. So you could use a broomstick. Um, there's different woods you can use that put up with a bit more stress. Um, but for the lightweight side of it, wooden handle is, is, is a good idea. I just thought I'd break it, so I went straight for the metal one. And then I adapted it with a crotch cup and, and um, handle. You could probably use the aluminium shaft, but I don't think it'll put up with a lot of abuse and you'd probably end up bending it. But if you were just doing dry sand, there is no reason you couldn't use one of these. And I happen to have a brand new scoop. So all you could do is take the, take the bung off. And this is a new one I have received, much like the plastic one. They're both um, without a pole, so you just walk around with the carry handle scooping. Uh, I've got a feeling this would be in the region of 45 to 50, edging on the side of 45, not too expensive to buy. And you could actually, that would work, that would work. It's a bit loose, so you could actually put it on, on this section of the crutch, but if you wanted something super lightweight, there's nothing stopping you doing that. I actually quite like using the arm cup and the handle on my one. So that's that's your different different kind of scoop. This is your handheld metal. That one's on a shaft. And then your different kinds of shafts you could use. You could just go and buy a proper handle. I'm sure they do sell them, but me being me, I like to do it differently. And back onto the field side of it. Once you've got your spade, you could progress to the designated, I mean, you can buy these, you can buy these via Dr. Otec. This is the Dr. Otec spade, the tea shovel. And, and there's Blackadder, there's various other makes. Um, go down and have a look at LP detecting. Um, I'll get you 10% off, links down below. And also go in Amazon shop if you fancy a Dr. Otec spade, because the links down below are for that. And any discounts will also be down there. This one, it's slightly different to some because I unscrew it properly. <clears throat> you can take it apart and make it shorter because you've got an unlock on the top. So if you're a bit shorter or you just want a shorter spade, it's as simple as that. Screw that on, and you've got a shorter spade which isn't too dissimilar from a beach one. If you like a shorter one, maybe you want it a bit lighter. Um, weight comparisons on the two spades, I'll put them up on the screen. Um, so you know what you're getting into. You know what you're getting, if you're going to buy one, you want something lighter weight. A lot of them are lightweight for that reason, because not everyone wants to drag around. A great big Thor's hammer, I know. So you've got the, yeah, the adjustable digging tool, the tea shovel. As for hand tools, on land, it took me years. I never bothered with a digging hand tool apart from from that. And I, I never really bothered, but I got one of these for Christmas one year. Amazing piece, a okay. kit. Um, I always take it with me. I don't always use it. Uh, this is uh, the whites one. I've had this about five years. They do have a serrated edge. This is the new, the new one I've got. This is a Dr. Otec one. And um, they've normally always got a serrated edge on them, a pointy front. This one's got a depth indicator on it. I think this one did, but it's all rusty because I bought it to the beach once. Never do that. Um, both are very well made. I couldn't knock either. They don't bend. Not that you're levering much out with them. It's just for finding that hard to find target if you haven't dug it out enough. So I wouldn't say these are a must, but they're definitely good to have. Um, I always bring one now, so 
make of that what you will. And then Dr. Otec brought this out. I'm sorry I haven't cleaned it. But it folds up in this little pouch, which is full of mud. And it's a pick and a shovel. Now I use this. I, I've had I tried one of these before and I've broken them. They break here. These stop the locking nut stops working because you get it all rusty. I've had this one ages, and as you can tell, I haven't cleaned it. And it's all quite free moving. The handle comes off. I'll show you in a minute. And you can either have a spade, which I used, and I gave this some abuse in the field when I first got it. I'll put the link up when I first got this with the machine. It's really good. It's really good. It, it's it's just something slightly different, especially if you've got hard ground and you've dug your hole when you. You can use the pick and that's not bent and I smashed that into some sun baked ground and it was absolutely fine. When you finish with it, the Dr. Rotec one. So I, I haven't greased this or oiled this, I completely forgot it was in my bag. I used it a couple of weeks ago. <clears throat> Folds up like that. Straighten the bag and the bag, Velcro seals and if you've got a fines pouch around your waist, you can put it on your you can put it on your waist. I really like that. And that's why I still use it. Other than that, I can't really think of anything else digging tool wise that you may need or may aspire to get later on in the hobby. I think this is a fairly good coverage on everything that you can do. Uh, obviously there's different makes, different brands. Um, Pick them up second hand if you just start in the hobby. I, I did and I still do. Nothing wrong with that. Um, keep an eye on your local adverts, uh, Facebook Marketplace and things. I think that's where I picked up my first Garrett machine. Um, and then obviously eBay, I got my first sand scoop. Yeah, you can do it. If you want to get into the hobby, but you don't want to spend tons and you just want to try different tools, have a good look around. Don't just go and buy the first thing. Look for reviews like, like my ones. There's be a review on this one on the channel because this is new, this isn't quite out yet. There's a review on this on the channel. Again, links will be around and about on the screen or down below. And um, I hope this has been informative and uh, either save someone a bit of money or point you someone in the right direction. All right, that's it for now. I will see you again in the field. Thank you for watching.